Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Humans today are highly dependent on electricity. Even before people knew anything close to the existence of electricity, they were aware of electric shocks, which they experienced from electric fishes. Interesting, right? This was back in 2750 BC. Today, humans have not only progressed in the field of electrical energy, but they have used it in every possible way for their own comfort. We are all surrounded by electricity and cannot disagree with its importance in our world today. Electricity is first generated in powerhouses, it is then transferred through various means and finally distributed to the desired location. These processes are carried out with the help of electrical machines, which is a general term for devices that convert mechanical energy to electrical energy or electrical energy to mechanical energy. These electrical machines are broadly classified into two types, static machines and dynamic machines. Static machines are instruments that do not have any moving parts. Under static machines, we have transformers. Transformers are static devices that are used to increase or decrease voltage. They are commonly used to transfer electricity to our household or workplaces. Transformers consist of two windings, a primary winding and a secondary winding. These two windings are wound on the same magnetic core but are electrically separated. Primary winding is connected to an alternating current source. When current is passed through the primary winding, they develop a magnetic field of their own due to electromagnetic induction. As the secondary winding comes in contact with the magnetic field of the primary winding, an induced EMF is developed. Depending on the number of turns in the secondary winding, they are categorized as step-up transformers or step-down transformers. A step-up transformer has a higher number of coils in secondary winding and will increase the voltage, while a step-down transformer has a lesser number of coils in the secondary winding and will decrease the voltage. Transformers are used in electrical distribution systems to transfer power from power stations to the desired location. A step-up transformer is used from power stations to transmission towers so that the losses through power lines can be compensated. A step-down transformer is used from the transmission tower to the desired locations so that the required voltage is received by the destination. Next, we have dynamic machines. Dynamic machines are devices that have moving parts. They are further classified into generators and motors. First, let's discuss generators. Generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. They use the principle of magnetic induction, which states that a moving conductor in a static magnetic field will produce an induced EMF. They are further classified into two basic types, AC generators and DC generators. The first type of generator, that is, the AC generator, consists of magnetic poles between which a rotating armature is placed. The armature is rotated and an induced EMF is developed in the armature by Faraday's law, which is collected via the split rings. The electricity produced by AC generators is alternating in nature. Next, we have the DC generator. The construction of DC generators is similar to AC generators and the same law is used. Except that here, instead of split rings, commutators are used to collect the current. These commutators keep the direction of the current towards one way and as a result, we get a direct current as output. Next, we have motors. Motors are the machines that convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Our washing machines, refrigerators, exhaust fans, etc have motors in them. These motors are further classified into DC motors and AC motors. Both these motors use Faraday's law of magnetic induction. First, let's discuss DC motors. In a DC motor, the armature is connected with an electric source such as a battery or a DC power supply. Because of the electric field in the conductor, the armature experiences a force according to Lorentz law which states that an electrically charged conductor in a magnetic field experiences a force. This makes the armature rotate. Thus, electrical energy gets converted into mechanical energy, which is given by the movement of the armature. Next, we have AC motors. They are operated on an alternating current source. AC motors are further classified into two types, induction motors and synchronous motors. An AC motor essentially consists of an outer part called a stator and an inner part called a rotor. In an induction motor, the magnetic field produced by the current given to the stator causes the rotor to move. Since the rotation of the rotor occurs due to the induced EMF of the stator, they are termed as induction motors. In a synchronous motor, both the rotor and the stator rotate. The rotor produces a constant magnetic field and the stator produces a rotating magnetic field. These two magnetic fields are synchronized for the motor's movement. The synchronization produces a higher output. Well, that's all about electrical machines. We'll talk more about the principles on which each of these machines is based on in our upcoming videos. So, stay tuned. Until then, bye.